Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are tuned in to the Lions Den, official source of UCCS Sports. Well, if you don't know, your UCCS women's basketball team has been in the playoffs for over a week now. In fact, one week ago was the quarterfinal matchup of the 2016 RMAC postseason tournament in which your Mountain Lions defeated Regis at Regis, went on for the semifinal game on Friday night at CSU Pueblo to play Fort Lewis, and your Mountain Lions came up short in that game. 79-70 to was the final score. Tori Fisher with a great game. 20 points in that one. Uh, Brittany Hernandez, another double-double as though it's so easy for her. 16 points, 12 rebounds. Another double-double for her, her 10th of the season. Charlie, you were calling the action there yes. at the Masari Arena. Mm -hmm. One of your many losses on the weekend, my friend. But mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about the Mountain Lions and why they were not mm -hmm. able to prevail in the semifinal matchup against Fort Lewis. The number eight seed, yeah. mind you. Um, you know... In, in the RMAC, seeds really don't matter, you know, with especially basketball. You know, any team can beat any team on any game. Playoff game. basketball. Exactly. Playoff basketball, you really don't know what was going to happen. And you knew Fort Lewis beating the number one seeded Colorado Mines that they were a force to be reckoned with. And, you know, in our uh, pregame show, we talked about one player specifically, and that was Estrella Reed. Came into this game with her season high 21 points. On the mountain line, she had 26 and, you know, nine rebounds. She was doing everything. And, you know, Fort Lewis cannot miss. And that second quarter really, really was hurtful. You know, it was a 23 to 6 in that second quarter. Six points. Six mountain points. Lions mountain scored Lions the entire second quarter. That's points. not good. No defense. You know, You're not going to win a lot of games scoring six points no. in a quarter. Exactly. And the thing is, other than that quarter, we outscored them in every other quarter. So it was really that quarter. Mountain Lions made a little bit of a run in that fourth with Jenna Knopfel had 12 big points, two big threes in that end. But, uh, you know, Mountain Lions really couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get anything down. And we've talked about it. Seizure Pole is a hard place to play. And the Masari Arena, the backboards, and I'm, I'm not making excuses, but the backboards, and there's so much depth perception, so different. And that broadcaster. Yeah, that broadcast. But, uh, <laughs> Wearing that red CSU platform <laughs> oh, t-shirt as he's calling oh, the Mountain Lions know, game. Uh, Fort Lewis just was driven, and they gave a great run for CSU Pueblo in that championship game. It it got down to around three points in that third quarter, fourth quarter, and that CSU Pueblo just took over. But, you know, that I, I give my hats off to Fort Lewis. They they killed it, and, you know, they, they really wanted it. And, unfortunately, you know, they could have made the NCAA tournament, too. A couple of our MAC teams really could have made that NCAA tournament. So, bing bong, before the game, we had our pregame show yes. on Friday night. We did. And we broke down the guard play. Yeah. And you talked a little bit about the guard play now, not to call you out. Yeah. But that's not what beat us. And that's not to say that you were wrong with your prediction because yeah. looking at the stats, that's what I would have predicted as well was it would have been the guard play to beat us up around the perimeter, but that's not what happened on Friday yeah. night. We mentioned Tori Fisher and we mentioned Brittany Hernandez who had great games offensively, but defensively that seemed yeah. to be where we lost this game was down low in the post and that was seemingly the game plan of the Skyhawks mm. to go down low and go inside out as opposed right. to outside in. And Sauce, uh, coming from a former player yourself, you got to think that probably took the Mountain Lions a little bit out of their game. They expected to defend the guards, and the guards were relatively quiet in the first quarter, and it was mostly that post play down low on the block right. where the Mountain Lions got beat up. So how do you think that plays a role in those games, game planning for one thing and then seeing something completely different? I, uh, you know, I got stats, and honestly, it, you can break them down as much as you want. But it's when playoff basketball comes to, you know, comes to a head, you can only do so much uh, on the scouting report, uh, on, on knowing what they're going to do, their tendencies, whatever it is. Because when it comes to the time, like you said, they lost the third quarter, yeah. and we we talked about how many quarters they have won. But you got to play four quarters, and usually two halves. But you got to win all four quarters, and that can't be the case uh, in the Division Two tourney. Obviously, against. Uh, teams in the region, whatever. Uh, but you just gotta you gotta win games uh, certain ways, and you gotta know what you're good at. And if you're a defensive player, you gotta play every set as the best defensive player. When you're a great offensive player, you gotta have more than 15 points. And and that's not calling her out. It's just saying big time moments call for big time players, and you gotta have more than 15 and five. And that's just what's expected of her. And I think she knows that having. This is what's pretty cool about it, is that I honestly, a lot of people, a lot of doubters didn't think they were going to make it. And now seeing that they have another chance at it, coming off a pretty bad loss, as I'd put it, you know, 1 of 10 from 3 for Jen, 
I think they're going to be a different team as far as, hey, they might have a spark under them that says, hey, let's try to get this win and, and, and make it to that final round like they did last year. And, you know, like you said, last year, this happened exactly last year. We got Same to the team, yeah. We were in Colorado Mesa. We played CCU, and CCU just, you know, they, they killed us in that first game. Saw them in the NCAA tournament. We got the win there. But, you know, I think, I think you're right on that. And here's the thing. Shannon Kelly, Gabby Mears, you know, they didn't know if that Fort Lewis game was going to be their last game. And, you know, as you see it there, their reaction You can just priceless. tell. That's an, that's an excited bunch. But here, here's the thing with that is, you know, they now are playing for their career, you know. They didn't want to go out like that, losing to Fort Lewis and, you know, losing, you know, pretty bad. They wanted to go out on top, and, you know, this is the second chance for the Mount Lions. And the funny thing is, and, you know, head coach Sean Nelson says this all the time, they were 5-6 and six in the winter break, you know. Two home losses here, two crucial home losses to Regis and Chattern. And now look where they are. They're yeah. the NCAA tournament, you know, about, I, I believe they're heading there right now, actually. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, on the road as we speak. On the are. road. I wish we had a camera on the bus and, you know, saw them. But, uh, you know, yeah, that, like that. that's the coolest thing is they get redemption. They get another shot. The other thing is, you know, the four seniors next year, Tori Fisher, Jen V. Hill, Brittany Hernandez, Shana Leaf, all four of them, you know, they're kind of looking at this going, you know, we don't want to be in this position next year. We want to make right. sure we're going to be in that NCAA tournament and not be on that bubble watch. Because, you know, this year, I, you know, I talked to the, Head coach Sean Nelson, he, he said this year was a lot more fun to watch it because we didn't know what was going to happen. And that pure excitement of everyone jumping up and down, you know, I, I, it was scary because if, if we didn't get in, it would have, Yeah, know, it's revitalized. They it didn't expect bad, that. But yeah, you know, just knowing that NCAA, you know, put us in there and put us in the sixth seed was, you know, They didn't nice. do anything, Charlie. We put ourselves yeah. in there. <laughs> I didn't well, do that. anything either. No, the do. women's basketball team there put themselves go. in that position. And they now are going to take on the number three seed, West Texas A&M. Let's talk a little bit about that matchup coming up, because, Sauce, I know you broke down some film mm -hmm. for Sauce's spin this week. Yep. But overall, 26-4 and four for their overall record for right. West Texas A&M. 13-3 and three in their conference. So, I mean, that is a tough matchup for the Mountain Lions to open things up in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, real quick, Charlie, I know you're going to yes. the games. You're going to be broadcasting yep. the games live starting when? When's the first game? Thursday. This At Thursday, 4 o'clock, right? 4 o'clock, yes. 4 o'clock, yeah. mountain time. 11 o'clock, mountain time. So what time is the game local time, Jared? 12 o'clock. We're an early game. We are a very early 4 o'clock on your website, just so you know. Friday is 4 Friday's at oh, 4. okay. So, so when we win Thursday and we're back in action Friday, it'll be yeah. at 4. We there got you go. it. We there got you go. Okay, but Thursday's game is 11 a.m. Mountain time. Mountain time. Yeah. I like it. Okay. All right, Charlie, what do you expect to see on Thursday's 11 o'clock Mountain Time game? You know, with this team, saw them last year in that uh, South Central Regional Final. And, you know, they're not the same team from last year. New coach, you know, their seniors are gone. And, Last year, they shot 75% in that first Ooh. half. Is that good? That's amazing. 75%? <laughs> I mean, Unheard of. I'm, it, it, it's, it's passing. So, so we can say they're not going to likely do that again. Knock on wood, hoping. But, you know, I this think... This isn't wood, though. I, I'm thinking Mount Lions will come out strong. You know, gotcha. that's when they play the best. The first gotcha. quarter, second quarter, they come out strong. They come out firing. You know, I expect Shannon Kelly, Gabby Mears have a great weekend. You know, hopefully, hopefully we'll have a good weekend. Hopefully, uh, Jared Brenner won't have... Have to be back here too soon. Don't want to throw the hat either. No. 